guys it is Arika Misha I've been meaning to do this video for a long time but haven't quite made time for it but today I made time for it I wanted to share with you guys my little secret little um, homemade trail mix that I make I love trail mix I love trail mix but some things they put in the trail mix I don't like so I said you know what I'm just just gonna go ahead and make my own trail mix so that's what I decided to do months ago I've been making this for a while now myself and I said, you know what? This may help somebody. You never know what you may do that may help somebody. So I just wanted to show y'all my little quick homemade recipe of trail mix. Like how I make my own. And I fill it with the things that I like. So, all right, let me show you guys what I got. I have two of the Planters Deluxe Salted Mix Nuts. Cashews, almond, pecans, pecan, pecans, uh, pistachio, and hazel nuts. That's what's all in here. I have two of these. This is one pound, net weight 27 ounce. Yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. That's what I have. I have two of these. These are on sale at Publix, BOGO. Y'all better go watch my grocery house, buy one and get one. And I have, because I love Raisinets, I have three packs of the Raisinets, the milk chocolate. Not a fan of dark chocolate. But um, yes, I have three, three of these because I love them so much. That's why I got three of them. And you know what? It's not really that much in the bag. And I got the um, family size of M&M's chocolate. Just the chocolate. Just the M&M's chocolate. All right. Because if you think about it, the mixed nuts has so much, so many different nuts in it. All right. Let me show you guys. This is going to be a little quick, cute video I wanted to make and share. Um, you know, and of course, fill your... Um, Trail mix with what you want to fill it with. Some people may put like uh, Chex Mix or something like that, but these are my favorite ingredients. So this is how I make it. Quick, simple, and easy. All right. Let me go ahead first. And of course, I just have a simple Tupperware bowl that I use. I put it in. And then what I do is, hold on, let me show y'all. Show y'all my little scooper. It's like a little measuring cup. It's one of my measuring cups, but this is what I use just, you know, scoop it out so I'm not putting my hands in it. You know, because, you know, we all like to eat the trail mix. This is just my little at home recipe that I'm showing y'all. Alright, let me see. I'm trying to cut this open. Like, see, this is the perfect nut mix. I mean, you ain't got to buy almonds separately. Because y'all know, when it comes to nuts, they are very pricey. It doesn't matter, even if it's a Publix brand. It's pricey, period. So, but for me and my um, trail mix, I like to get the best quality so that I have the best quality taste. Um, but yeah, so, as you can see, see what the planners, y'all know planners, I mean, come on. That's pretty much the top peanut company. And their uh, nuts have a good quality. So look, we got everything in there. Got everything in there. That's the cashews, almonds, pecans, pistachios, and hazelnuts. All the nuts in there. We're going to pour some of those in there. Just pour some like that. Let me see if y'all can see. You know what? I'm going to put y'all into the bowl. Let me zoom y'all down into the bowl. Hold on. We're doing. Hold on, y'all. Let me move all this other stuff. Y'all bear with me. I'm not editing this out. Just adjusting so y'all can look down in the bowl. All right. Okay. That's good. And make sure my camera don't fall. This camera costs too much money. Okay, all right, so we got some nuts in there. Let's open some raisin nuts. I was like trying to think of like what else I want to add to my trail mix, and I really don't want to add nothing else because, like I said, these are my favorites. And as far as the nuts, I love all of these nuts. These are like all my favorite nuts that I would like. So it's the perfect combination. But if you know, if you don't like cashews, don't get cashews. Just do what you do. And like I said, the favorite part is the raisinets, chocolate covered raisins. See, and I just throw some raisinets in there. 
All right. Let's get our M&Ms open. All right, and I put some M&Ms in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't that look good? Mm-hmm. Yup. Put some more nuts in there. I'm just gonna pour the rest of the nuts in there. Okay. Got that in there. Hold on. Let me get a spoon. Gotta get the spoon to mix it up. And I just take my spoon and I mix it just like that. Mix it up. Make sure y'all can see. Okay. See when I just mix it up just like that. This is too easy. Too easy. Take you about five minutes to do it. Too easy. Look at that trail mix. Like those are like all my favorites. Raisin nuts, all the nuts. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Raisin nuts. Oh, oh my favorite. And that's all I gotta do. And I make a big old container full. You know, so it can last. I'm going to add some more nuts to it. Ooh, look at that. That's it, y'all. Quick and easy. Let me pick y'all up. So y'all can get a real close-up of that trail mix. Quick and easy. Took me, what, two minutes to make it? Five minutes top. Open everything. Put it all in there. Y'all can't tell me that ain't no good-looking trail mix right there. Quick and easy. And the salt from the nuts, when you mix it up, the salt from the nuts gets on everything. Like your raisin ass and your M&M's. Like they all get that salt from the um, nuts. So good. Quick and easy trail mix. Alright guys. This is Arika Misha. Make sure you go into my description box. I have a link to my second channel. That's my spiritual channel over there. If you guys you know are into that, uh, go over to my um, second channel, my spiritual channel. That is my spiritual journey that I'm going through over there. Um, once again, this is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Thanks, guys. Bye.